What's going on guys? Thank you so much for watching. Just wanted to say another special thank you to those of you that left those comments on my previous video of the reactions to comments from the first video that I, well, not the first video that I made, but one of the first videos that I made after a long sabbatical from YouTube. I had posted the video about three weeks ago. I looked a little different. My face was shaved. My hair was tied back. I had grown my hair out. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I've gotten a lot of comments, good, bad, happy, sad, inspirational, motivational, demotivational. And I like doing reactions to comments. It doesn't always have to be because of like negative comments that are left. I mean, people are still commenting on that video saying I look different, asking me if I'm okay. And I don't want to have to explain myself all the time, but it is totally okay. This is what we sign up for when we make YouTube accounts and become creators. We're open to everyone's opinion and judgment and I am completely aware of that. The response I got on my last video of trying to explain myself as to why you guys may have thought that from three videos ago. Why I may have looked that way and uh, you just were very supportive and, and caring and it just really truly means a lot to me and I just really wanted to recognize that and recognize you guys. I love you. Also, before we start, please, if you can, I really do appreciate the fact you guys have been liking my videos, but the algorithm still is a little upset with me because it doesn't realize that I'm back posting kind of in a normal fashion again. I would appreciate if you could just like this video. If you're not a subscriber, thank you so much for, for being here and tuning into this video. If you enjoy it, please subscribe and don't forget to turn post notifications on in the corner by hitting that little bell. This way, when I post a new video, whatever device you may be watching YouTube on, you'll get a notification sent to that specific device. Let's get into this video. Uh, I wanted to kind of compound off my last video. I had been explaining to you guys that I had a medical scare. Kind of was an experience that I really wanted to share with you guys, just based off of the fact that I know there's sometimes people out there that may have these situations happen to them. I had a shoulder surgery a couple years back and I had documented that for you guys and I know it was able to help a lot of you so I figured having a cyst in my face um, maybe it'd be good to document this as well. This way, if there's anyone who ever has this type of problem or this type of situation occur in their life, they can have something to reference from. I went in for a consultation and I was treated the following day. They moved a lot of things around so I had to go pretty early in the morning so you will see me looking like I just rolled out of bed. Uh, kind of like right now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna look a little bit rugged. I'm gonna look like I just woke up. It was just a new experience for me that I had never been through before. So I think you guys will maybe catch that vibe from me a little bit in this. Dr. Applebaum was so jovial and so cool about filming with the uh, hope that maybe this video and the information that you guys see in it, me going through that process, would help some of you out there or just be actually entertaining for you guys. I know a lot of people enjoy Dr. Pimple Popper. I have never heard of Dr. Pimple Popper before this. I'm not the type of person that likes to watch videos like that, surgery procedures, people popping pimples. <laughs> if you're a little bit squeamish like myself to that type of content, a little bit sensitive, I don't wanna make you feel uncomfortable. Check the description box for the timestamp. I will show you the time to skip over this way. You do not see that. And if you're someone who wants to see it, I hope you do enjoy this. Like I said, I would rolled out of bed to do this. So don't worry, everything was good. You know, I was just basically getting a cyst removed from my face. All right, here you guys go. Here is the whole process and procedure for me getting a cyst removed from my cheek. What's up guys? Um, I'm in the doctor's office right now. And uh, you had just saw me talking to you about how I had a little bit of a scare uh, with this thing right here in my cheek. He's going to live a long, happy life, okay? <laughs> That's what I want you to know first and foremost. <laughs> it's going to be around for a while. We don't have to worry about uh, that. I hope so. I hope they want me around. What happened was I had no idea what to do out here. I've never had this happen. I'm not really a cosmetic uh, surgery type of guy. Robert Applebaum here, he made me feel comfortable immediately. It wasn't a problem. Uh, he assured me everything was cool and that he would take care of it. I literally came in yesterday and I'm here the next day. That's how quick and amazing they were. They even moved my procedure up a couple hours to satisfy my working schedule, which I really do appreciate. Thank you so much for that. What's your main hustle here? Like what's your best cosmetic surgery, butter? cosmetic surgery of the body uh -huh. and the face. Okay, cool. And cosmetic breasts surgery. and tummies and yeah. lipo and all this sort of thing. All but right, today cool. it's all about you. So, this extra breast right yeah, here. Right, right there. there. So you is. can see it. Right there. It's a garden variety cyst. It's um 
I don't know if you can see it there. You probably can. Yep, there it is. Yeah, there you We're go. going to make a tiny incision over it and get out this cyst. It has sebaceous material in it from sebaceous glands. Is he going to be more handsome after this? Can you believe that? <laughs> Good thing. You know, see, see like my, my wrinkles right here? It might hide the scar. It might just I look like know. another piece of my crow's feet. Could so. be another crow's feet. Any inquiries, just call the office. I'll leave all the information for them in the description box below. So you have nothing to worry about as far as contact info. They were wonderful to work with. And I'm telling you, I was here yesterday as my consultation and they're here today the next day. So the turnover rate wow, is beautiful. This, this is a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a tough guy, but he needs a little bit of local. All right, we're gonna inject a little bit of local, just uh -huh. like in the dentist. We're gonna make a tiny incision, take it out, and we'll have some fun today. All right, cool. Let's have some fun, I'm ready. <laughs> We've made it to the operating table. Doc, what do you think? Okay. Not bad. It's really gonna happen. No backing out now. <laughs> You're trapped. Once you cross the plane of the operating room door, you're in. There's no turning back now, no Cotton. Turning back. This no turning back. No. Cotton. The I love voyage it. of no return. <laughs> so we're we're just at the point where we're seeing the tip of it here, and you can see the very very top of it. We're just about ready to deliver the baby here. <laughs> By the way, just to let you know, these cysts are very common. They're remnants of sebaceous material that gets captured underneath the skin and gets into a, its own capsule. And we don't know, boy or girl, I can't tell you yet, the head is coming. Okay, all good. It's much bigger than I thought. It's much bigger. We're very gently going underneath. We don't want to break it. There it is. It still has a wow. little attachment underneath. And Mary here is being very gentle, helping me. Thank you, Mary. Okay. You can see there's a shell here, and that's a capsule. And we're turning it over just. And push down a little bit, good. There it is. Okay. That is crazy. Much bigger than I thought. Right? Yeah. It's a bouncing baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We're going to show the that. proud father. <laughs> oh there God. it is. The proud father seeing that. It's so scary. It looks it's, like a mint. <laughs> well, listen, don't get any <laughs> ideas, an okay? So there it is. And so we're so going to open it for all the audience. We're going to show the audience. You ever see my big fat green wedding? Yes. That's it. Yes. Inside the lump was my twin. Oh. That's <laughs> it. So this is what happens when you have, you can see the inside here. We're going to cut it open. And there's the thick sebaceous no material. See that? Yeah. Look at that. It's crazy. That is crazy. See that? It there looks you like go. an octopus. <laughs> right. He survived his first cyst removal, <laughs> and he did fantastic. Hopefully, it's my only one. His only one. So, we, and it looks, look at this face, it's unchanged. <laughs> but we have a tiny, tiny little incision here. Tiny incision. Back to normal. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Okay. There you guys go. That was my cyst removal procedure video. Maybe you enjoyed it, maybe you skipped over it, but I do appreciate the support anyway. Appreciate the comments, the time you take to write them, the time you take to watch my videos. Comment below if you wanna see me cut my hair on camera. It's getting pretty long and I, and I don't wanna keep talking about it. It's becoming a detriment to me filming. I know it's hiding my face. Whoa! Did you do something to your hair? Maybe I'll do a tweezing, uh, reshaping my eyebrows for dudes. Uh, type of video. This way uh, we can help make my eyebrows uh, a little bit better. I don't know. They're definitely bushy. I just figured it'd be a good opportunity to kind of share those processes with you guys and make this fun. You know, make it fun for you guys as well. I hope I'm able to do that. That's what I'm trying to do. If you guys have any other ideas, please always. I'm so open to feedback. It is so appreciated. Leaving me those video requests really does a lot of help for me and it helps me with the creative process, which I sometimes struggle with. Well, not sometimes, all the time. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let that algorithm know that I'm not a dweeb that doesn't post a lot on YouTube anymore. Appreciate you guys as always. Thank you again so much for watching. Uh, and with another video, my name is Brett Cap, and I will see you guys next time.